Everyone, this is Tim B. Welcome back to Tim B's Tech Talk. Today, I want to show you how you can create your own keynote theme using master slides. I'm going to begin by selecting a new presentation and just selecting white to start out with. I'm now going to go to the paintbrush tool and I'm going to select edit master slide. I'm going to delete the elements that are inside this title subtitle theme. I'm now going to add my own template design. Using the files app in overlay mode, I'm going to grab one of my pre-designed templates and add them to the master slide edit. Click done. Now when I go to add a new slide, I now have that as an option for my slide layout. I'm now going to add two more master slides that I'm going to redesign by repeating the same process. I now have my very own master slides to choose from when I open this presentation. The plus symbol at the bottom of this photo indicates that the photo can be edited or replaced by another photo in your library. If you want to undo this option, choose another master slide, go into edit master slide mode, and import a photo from your library, add it to your template, and you can see that there's an option to define as media placeholder. In this case, you're gonna leave it deselected. When you go back into normal viewing mode, you can see that this photo cannot be altered or changed. If you want it to be altered or changed, go back into edit master slide mode, select the photo, and then choose the option from the style menu defined as media placeholder. And you now have the option to replace this photo with another photo from your library. This same option can be applied to text as well as video. Although image galleries are not an option when you're inside the master slide edit mode. Once you are finished working with your master slide, you can now save it as a keynote theme. Go to the three dot icon in the top right, select export, and then select keynote theme. Choose the option, add to theme chooser. You can now start a new presentation by going to the my themes menu and selecting the master slides that you just set up. And finally, when you open your new keynote theme, and then select the option edit master slide. You can now go through on the left hand side and delete all of the master slides you no longer want to use for this particular template. The menu will now only show the slides you set up. If you never used the master slide edit feature before, I hope this tutorial was helpful. You can always check me out at timbeachtechtalk.com. And if you haven't already, select the subscribe button. That way you can stay up to date with other tutorials that I feature in future episodes. See you later.